check out where we slept. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Click the subscribe button to follow our adventure around the world. See you later! Sleeping in a castle, Jack. <laughs> And Luna guarded the bike well. It's pretty nice view to wake up to, isn't it? And here's Bumblebee, all wrapped up. Safe and sound, doing well. It's a beautiful morning. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Oh, look. Ah! Whoa! Look at this! Ah. We can't even know our bike in the bag. <laughs> this is a crazy, crazy cool wow. construction. Look at this. In here you have like a space, like a whole camper van inside. But it's on like a huge high clearance four wheel drive base. So I opened the, the hood. So it's very simple, very clean. Yeah. So two ton eight. So you can, uh, you can drive it with a normal. So in the oh, normal license, yeah. yeah. And where did you find it? Um, it was um, employed by the electric company because before there was a, a lift on top. So it was used to repair um, electricity uh, lines, but uh, off, off road. Off road, okay. So, and if you see the, <laughs> the, the suspension and the, the, the tires and the, yeah, and the clearance, it's. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh my god. And the engine is horizontal? Horizontal. So, and you have here. engine ah the engine's here yeah and then you're gonna get rid yeah. of this piece yeah. and just put it straight through as one yeah. big like camper I'll, van space I'll, I'll, when i do the exploring myself i will take this one out as well okay okay, so okay. it gives a little bit extra space so you see the height is three meters twenty it's insane the height <laughs> so you pay a little bit more for the ferry yes but, uh, yes but okay very very cool Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 17. 17. Day Woo! number 17 today. Oh, <laughs> Wart is just putting his uh, adventure rig back in the garage of this beautiful, amazing property. Yeah, we had an incredibly cool night. It was my first night that I slept in something old like that. It's like crazy. It's, uh, I think the building is like 500. 500 years old? Yeah, and he's, well, he said that the tower behind and the foundations are from the 11th century. It's not just the building that Vaud has, it's, uh, it's this entire valley behind us, up to the top of the hill in front, seven hectares 
yeah. space with it. <laughs> yeah, he's actually planning on selling it. So if you are interested, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, actually wants to trade this mm -hmm. for that adventure rig that we saw. <laughs> yes and uh, do some adventuring, which we can completely understand because, <laughs> you know, we do the same thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let us show you where we're going today. So this is where we are right now. And today we are gonna be doing 78 miles. So not a huge day uh, because we have a lot of editing to catch up with, but uh, we're gonna be doing 78 miles down to Toulouse. And just south of Toulouse, there's another small area called Muray and uh, we're going to be heading there to stay with a friend. So not a huge day of driving today. Um, but it's beautiful and sunny today, so it's going to be amazing. Um, we're just packing up and then let's go. <laughs> Okay, ready? Hit the road. Woo! No, no, it's okay. I just stay on the inside track. So, so that I don't fall down the hill. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. I just do a little wheel spin. I think I have wheel spin on the back end, so you might have to jump off for this bit. Okay. Yeah. In the mud, yeah? I was just in the mud. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I think you can come back on. That was wheel spinning a little bit, wasn't it? it was wheel spinning a little bit. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> We're on the road. It's always uh, interesting to have a four wheel drive start to the morning, to have an off road start. Good way to start the day. You don't need coffee, just go uh, uphill on a gravel track. It's so cool that uh, on the advertisement on IO Verlander and Park for Night, it was just about, oh yeah, free camping space. But then when we arrived there, Ward was like, oh no, I've got plenty of rooms. You guys can just take a room, no problem. Choose whichever room you like. <laughs> just such a kind and, and generous guy, really. Good afternoon, the sun is shining strong and the beautiful day continues. We're about uh, 15 miles from Toulouse now and you can see that the landscape has changed completely. It's now gone into like the flat plains just before the Pyrenees which are a little bit further south from us. 
and it's a hotter sunnier place you've got more palm trees around or like more yeah villas and pools and I see on the road signs that there's two different languages when we arrive in the town and one of them is a bit more Spanishy and one of them is French so clearly in this area we're in Occitan at the moment is the name of the region and uh, yeah here apparently they're speaking some form of other language that's similar to Spanish or Portuguese But it looks like we're coming into the center of Toulouse and uh, they call Toulouse the pink city. And can you guess why? So yes, they call it the pink city. And you can see it's because of all of the pink bricks they've got everywhere. In contrast to a lot of the other cities we've been through that were very much sandstone, very gray and sandy colored. Look at the color of the city. It's beautiful here. It's really unique in France. So here we are in the centre of Toulouse and um, I've just routed the GPS whilst we're at a traffic light. I just routed it to a small suburb or small town just outside of the, uh, of the south called Muray where our friend has an apartment. So that is where we are headed for today. 13 miles. We've been in the city so let's get out of the city. It looks like if you look in the very, very distance, although I'm not sure, probably you can't see it on the GoPro, but the Pyrenees are over in the distance. I can see the snowy capped mountains. Wow, now you can start to see right at the end of this road. I still don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see these massive snowy peaks just touching the cloud line cool oh i can't wait for the mountains that's going to be absolutely awesome another city tour done <laughs> check <laughs> We pretty much went all the way through from the very north to the very south of Toulouse. We went straight through the centre. Uh, it was a bit busier and a bit bigger than I was actually expecting. So, but we arrived happy and safe in Murray at our friend's place where we will chill out and just enjoy the sun. <laughs> it's really exciting as well because we have seen a little bit of the mountains, oh, which yes. we're gonna explore in the next day. So very exciting times yeah i didn't realize there was snow still on them yeah it's uh, super crazy that's amazing like to see the snow caps right in front of you like that it's going to be really cool to get right up inside yes. there yes <laughs> yeah we really hope you enjoyed the episode if so then give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time